What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Skull Network. My name is Nick and in today's video I was inspired by the CBS Sports article that I found from Cody Benjamin who's talking about some potential trades that could happen amongst quarterbacks in the 2021 offseason. And someone he mentioned was Teddy Bridgewater possibly being a trade option and he listed three teams that he thought would be a good fit for Teddy Bridgewater. The Houston Texans, the Chicago Bears, and the Minnesota Vikings. I'm here before anyone else tries to jump on this and say that this is potentially a good idea, although I don't think anyone would, because this, this is just bad. Now for starters, I know many of you are gonna hate to hear this, but barring any major setbacks, injuries, or amazing trade offers, Kirk Cousins is gonna be the quarterback for the Vikings this upcoming season, and more than likely in 2022. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't issues a backup quarterback, because Sean Mannion is set to hit the open market in this coming offseason, so that will leave a little bit of a hole. Is it a major hole and super important? Not necessarily, but I mean, it can't hurt to reinforce it a little bit with free agency. But the idea that Teddy Bridgewater could possibly be traded here to either replace Kirk Cousins, which is absolutely asinine, or be the backup, it's not very good. Teddy has two years and $49 million left on his current deal. So that's really out of the price range of anything really, especially in terms of a backup quarterback. And let's face it, Teddy has shown that he is a fringe starter or a very good backup at best in this league. As much as I hate to hate on the guy, he just has kind of shown that. And he obviously wasn't put in the best situation in Carolina last season, but I mean, it's pretty apparent. But since we're on the topic of backup quarterbacks, there are a few options that I think the Vikings should heavily consider this coming off season. Now, first I'm gonna start with the one in-house option that I like, and since Sean Manning is leaving that leaves guys like Nate Stanley and Jake Browning if Nate Stanley progresses very well over the course of OTAs and training camp and the offseason as a whole you know you could sign him to a minimum deal and you know have him as your backup you probably won't be needed but that's an in-house option that would be quick, easy, and pretty freaking cheap. But if you want to go and test the free agency market for your backup quarterback, there's three options that I like and that PFF also likes as well, considering the Vikings' budget. Now, as we know, the Vikings are not in the best money situation, so you do have to go and get like a pure backup guy. And the three options that I like are one, Joe Flacco. Yes, he's 36 years old. Who knows if he's even going to play next season, but if he decides to, he's obviously not going to demand a lot of money. But he is a Super Bowl winner. He has been a starter for years in this league, and he knows how to get the job done if he is needed. But again, this is a position that more than likely won't be really needed because Kirk Cousins has yet to miss a game with the Vikings. But Joe Flacco, he just knows how to get the job done, and there's no way he's going to command more than a couple million dollars a year. Next, I like the idea of Mike Glennon. Now, as we know, Mike Glennon, he's 31 years old, I believe, and he's been a backup for his entire life. He knows exactly how this rodeo goes and he has been around quite a bit most recently in Jacksonville and he's still at that age where you know he's not deteriorating and his game isn't falling off necessarily but like I said he knows how this all goes and he would have no problem coming in and just being someone's backup like he's done his entire career the last option that I like is CJ Beathard and now obviously in the situation over in San Francisco over the last couple of years there's been injuries and you know just bad QB play in general which has allowed him quite a few snaps during the regular season he has played fine serviceable we'll call it that but Again, that's all we're looking for in this position, and he has not done anything that would demand any sort of crazy amount of money. And of all these three quarterbacks that I have just listed from free agency, PFF predicts that their contracts at the most will be $3 million a year. But I just thought I'd address this because the idea of Teddy Bridgewater coming back to the Vikings, while on paper would be cool, he gets to come back to his old team, everyone loves him. <laughs> he's not as good as we thought, guys. Let's put it out there, okay? And Cody Benjamin, if you put something out like this again, and especially with no reasoning for the Vikings being a top target, yeah, we're gonna start having some questions for you. But that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, make sure you hit the button down below to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button as well. If you wanna share this video, you can with anyone, anywhere. If it's a crack dealer on the corner, that's your guys' best option. You guys already know. My name is Nick, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Adios.